Hi everybody and welcome back to Exploring Bricks. Today we are at another toy store because we had so much fun when we visited Toys R Us a couple of days ago. We're gonna check out if there are any discounts at this place, if there's anything we can buy. Oh, I forgot the bags. We, we need bags. In case there are any discounts. <laughs> We are ready for them. But we're not only going to go to a toy store, we're also going to go to Ikea. At least that's the plan, because we need some shelves for all the Lego sets. Maybe we're not going to buy anything, but we're at least going to check out what we have to choose from. But let's start with the toy store. That's where we're going. We have been there one time before. We had a lot of Lego sets, but not that discounted, if I remember correctly. So let's see what it's like today. That's the kind of signs we want to see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's so empty. Okay, fingers crossed that the Lego sets are still there. These kind of rooms are so good. But is it Lego? No. We do have Lego. That's kind of nice. We've got Lego from here. I think the friend sets are the first ones. And we got it all the way to the city sets so yeah some video sets as well but there aren't any discounts at least not any decent discounts the only discounts i can see is for a lego movie set some more lego movie sets and wonder woman versus cheetah the rest of the sets are unfortunately not discounted there isn't too much lego here is there no and no discounts. At least not discounts on anything we want. They do have the house banner sets that we bought just a couple of days ago, but they have the same ones that we've already bought. So the red one seems to be the hardest one to find. What did we pay? We paid like 26 euros. So ah, nice. That's good. That's good. Not too much Star Wars. Just no. like a loot. Helmet. They have the helmet, they have a couple of smaller ships, some of the mechs and a 4 plus set as well. But that seems a bit. There's an Obi-Wan Kenobi set hiding behind here. Obi-Wan Kenobi versus Darth Vader. We already have that one and it's not a very interesting set anyway. Got it, build it. Didn't like it. There is something about these kind of figures that are sold on these cards. Just love them. We were just about to leave the store when we found two random Disney sets for free. That's another one. But it's kind of cute. Mickey, Peter Pan. Woody, Tinkerbell, Mickey, Minnie and Moana. Mona maybe. Who's Mona? I have no idea. I've never seen this before. This is actually pretty cool. It's a Jimi Hendrix action figure. It has his guitar and it's the Woodstock outfit. Actually doesn't look like him at all, but still it's really cool. You just got to buy this. Do I? You have to. Put it in the basket, put it in your basket. <laughs> Since we didn't find any Lego, so might as well. Oh, you have to. Let's see what else they got. Ultraman, never heard of him. Werewolf, Nosferatu. Oh, he's a classic Dracula, isn't it? Phantom of the Opera, Lord of the Rings, Star Trek. We got Elvis, a really weird looking Elvis, and Peter Chris and Jim Simmons. So at least we got something from the store. I didn't picture us buying a Jimi Hendrix action figure when I woke up this morning. So we weren't that successful in the toy store. Let's see if we're more successful at IKEA. There's so many people here. We actually have to queue to get in to the parking lot and the queue out of the parking lot. Crazy. I think we need something with glass doors because everything gets so dusty and dusting that stuff is no fun. The cheapest and easiest way to get storage shelves are to buy the Billy series, but they're not that much fun. What's good about it is that it's not that wide. Since the room is small, we cannot get something that's too wide, so got that going for it. I like those, those are kind of nice. The black ones here, there are no glass doors. I'm not sure if you can put glass doors on it. And these are way too big. Here we have a lot of other shelves that all have glass doors. This is nice. That is kind of nice. Maybe you can put unbuilt sets down here. It should be a little bit wider, but that's a good uh, option. This looks like an old medicine cupboard. 
Yeah, you can lock it as well. That's also a nice one. But it should be coherent. So if you buy one type of shelf, the rest should be in the same uh, style at least. Or at least the same color. Those are not that nice. This is kind of cool. Problem is, if we want to maximize space, we need to get something that's both wide and tall. The problem is we want something that's both good looking and practical so we can maximize the storage. Things here that are good looking are not that tall. But this is somewhere in between. I like this one. I like it too. I like this one. It's not wide at all, but it could be nice for brick caps, maybe minifigs. You can probably fit about, I don't know, five brick caps on each shelf. And we have some Lego! Wow, never heard about this, never knew! But these are so cool! They're pretty cool! Well, we found some slippers, Sandra is still paying for them, and I've ordered vegetarian hot dogs. But not a great success, but at least we got something out of the day. The vegetarian hot dogs, ah, it's a good day. We got a package, and it's a small package, but it's a package we've been longing for for a long time. And there's a specific reason for that, but let's open it up first. And it's not a pet water fountain. Am I getting a dog? <laughs> no. Even better. No, not better. It's the Ahsoka Brickhead and a few pieces to our incomplete Fort Private Drive, the Harry Potter set that we don't like but still want to make complete. This in itself is not that special, but this is our first Bricklink order. That's what makes it so special. We have been through the process of registering ourselves as a Bricklink store. It's a tricky process. Maybe we will get back to that in a future vlog. But one of the things you need to do in order to be able to open a store is to get feedback from one seller. So you have to buy something. And this is what we bought. But besides from that, the Brickheads, we really like them. Star Wars Brickheads especially. And this is a nice one. One of the best Brickheads all in all, not just one of the best Star Wars Brickheads. Our storage situation. We have pretty much filled up the only closet that we've got available for our Lego sets. We have a bunch of sets out here, but these are the ones that we are going to build sometime. They have been standing here for quite some time, so I don't know when sometime is. And we do have a bed that you can open up. Ta-da! Underneath it we have more Lego. We have the boxes of the sets that we have opened. We have some loose bricks and we have some sets that we've built. So the plan is to make more space in here by packing up some of the built sets and get rid of all the boxes for the sets we've already built. And by doing that we hopefully will be able to move down a bunch of these sets up here. And on top of that we have a bunch of sets here that we bought the other day. So we have nine Harry Potter sets and two Star Wars sets. So somehow we gotta fit them into the equation as well. It took well over an hour, but I think it was worth it. Really? I mean, it looks almost empty. It's way more spacious than before. Do you know what that means? I do. <laughs> we can go to the Lego store, we can buy it online, we can buy more. Is there some kind of system here? Yes. Up here we have the Back to the Future set and we have the Winnie the Pooh set and also we have a bunch of GWPs like the Mini Steamboat Willy and up there we have the GWPs for December of 2023 and also two large Star Wars sets. The rest is pretty much Star Wars. So if we start at the bottom we have the bigger Star Wars sets lined up nicely here and we have the smaller Star Wars sets. We also have a Beatles set and a Disney set because they didn't fit underneath the bed, or they fitted, but it took up way too much space. And we still have the sets that we're gonna build out here. So, the old people flowers. No, they're fun, they're, they're <laughs> colorful. They're Sandra's. We have a Star Wars set, we have a Batcave set, we have an office set, and down here we have the big set that we're gonna tackle real soon. And underneath the bed, we fitted in all the rest of the unopened boxes. So we got a bunch of speed champions, Seinfeld sets, it's a little bit of everything. But it's keepers. For the time being it's keepers, yes. 
We also kept the loose Lego bricks as well as a couple of build sets, mainly Star Wars sets and the Back to the Future car and the James Bond car and for some reason for Private Drive even though we don't like Harry Potter. But we kept it here because we we're missing a couple of pieces and we're trying to get it complete before we tear it down and get rid of it. I've also been to the basement with a uh, box full of empty Lego boxes. All in all it turned out really nice. Perfect, great job.